Malaysia is a country that has made steps in a new direction recently. It has established halal rules for medicine. Here with me is Brigadier General Halid Bissari, who is going to tell me why this was necessary. Halal uh, pharmaceutical uh, is necessary because there is a demand uh, for such uh, requirement mm -hmm. uh, so that Malaysia will enter into new economic uh, niche and provide leadership for the country. Uh, Ministry of uh, Health uh, together with uh, experts from the academia, Ministry of Trade, uh, gather and uh, produce this uh, uh, document and become uh, a reference uh, for the nation to follow. Mm -hmm. What effect has it had already on patients? Has it made a difference? So the patients uh, really looking forward uh, for this new uh, halal uh, pharmaceutical to be made available in the market because it improves their spiritual well-being mm -hmm. and their quality of life. Uh, as, uh, Malay, as a Muslim uh, patient have a right you know, to have halal uh, food and halal medicines uh, on their plate, uh, this is a very good uh, new development uh, for the nation and for the uh, welfare of the people in Malaysia. Now this must have created quite a problem for manufacturers, having a new system to work. Mm. Uh, actually, the local manufacturer has been uh, doing this since uh, 1999. Really? So most of the local uh, manufacturer uh, really take this with an open uh, uh, mind and uh, open uh, heart, and uh, they've been uh, producing it. But the multinational uh, not have be happy with this new development. Uh, because they will affect the uh, the way they run their manufacturing right. plant overseas. Right. Right. So there will be uh, some time before they will uh, change their, change their, their yes, right. uh, towards this requirement. But for the local manufacturer, most of them are already in tune. Well, does this not mean that the local manufacturers will be exporting to other Muslim countries? Yes, uh, they have. Uh, we know for a fact uh, that CCM uh, has been exporting their uh, halal manufacture, uh, halal pharmaceutical uh, to Middle East and other countries. Pharma Niaga has, is doing it in Indonesia mm -hmm. and a host of other uh, manufacturers as well. Uh, they have been exporting abroad. So you see this progressing quite a lot. Correct. Does it include prescription medicines? Okay, recently the government has approved uh, to allow prescription uh, items uh, ap be applied for halal. Mm -hmm. However, the logo uh, will, ha will have to wait. Uh, so this is a good development, uh, meaning that we, we can say all these uh, products are produced in a Sharia compliance yes. environment, yes, yes. Uh, but only OTCs, uh, complementary, traditional, mm -hmm. cosmetic, those can bear the logo halal. Uh, the prescription will have to wait uh, until yes. uh, such time. And what has been the reaction of the public to this? I, I think me as a public as well, <laughs> are very happy uh, about uh, this uh, development. Uh, at the end, uh, we finally uh, have created uh, something that would improve our uh, spiritual uh, well-being and mm -hmm. our belief in, uh, in Islam. Is there a parallel to the Jewish type of uh, restrictions? Yeah, I, I think kosher, halal, share much the same thing. Do they? Yes. Okay. yes. And the future is just going to be an expansion of this to prescription yeah. drugs. Presumably. Exactly. And exactly. I did mention earlier export. Do you envisage that coming about? Oh, definitely, definitely. I think the export will uh, double or triple, you know, depending upon uh, how much we can uh, put that Sharia compliance uh, logo or um, accreditation to those products. This is uh, really uh, going to be a new uh, frontier for pharmaceutical sector.